Ah oui, tu as Have you forgotten the vows about all the Kaichek? But master, one devil bird has silenced our chant, broken our sacred ritual. But we must bear no hatred in our hearts, Kaichek. Why can't these foreigners stay by themselves? Why must they come and desecrate? Peace, Kaichek. In his sight, all men are equal. What is to be, will be. Besides, there are many benefits to be gained by our people through the coming of the airships. Benefits? There has been nothing but strife since these foreigners came. Silence, Kaichek. Strife there has been stirred up by thoughts like yours. Cleanse your heart, my son. To your prayer wheel and do penance on your knees. Past the monastery. I'll check with the airport, take control. Okay. Supply ship Queen of Mongolia calling Baital Field. Supply ship Queen of Mongolia calling Baital Field. Baital. Baital Airfield. Go ahead, Queen Mongolia. Let them into the conference room. Yes, Mr. Meredith. Just past the monastery. Should reach field in half an hour. Flying at 2,000 feet. Visibility perfect. Everything okay. You hear that, gentlemen? Everything is okay. What did I tell you, Winston? Your fears were grounded. I hope you're right, Meredith. Don't forget the plane hasn't landed yet. Nonsense. What on earth can stop her now? Same mysterious forces. Block the steady turn. Accidents will happen on any big construction job. That may explain the wrecking of valuable material, the deaths of dozens of men. But how do you explain the mysterious warnings we've received from the man who calls himself the dragon? We've been over that many times. Henry Key has assured us this must be the work of some fanatic. I'm sure it must be some native who resents our presence here. It'll take more than the threats of a madman to stop us now. Ah, uh, this marks the realization of our dream. A great international airway linking all the nations of the world together. And a mighty step towards the peace of the world. Right. What do you say we go out to the field and watch the Queen of Mongolia come in? Look, you have failed to heed the dragon's warning. The Queen of Mongolia will never land on Baikal Field. What did I tell you? It's some trick to frighten us. No, he means it. I'm going to order that ship to turn back. Signal the ship to turn back. Yes, tell the pilot not to land here. Yes, Mr. Meredith. Baikal. Baikal, calling Queen Mongolia. They've fallen into the dragon's trap. When the pilot answers, let him have it. Aye. Queen of Mongolia. Queen of Mongolia. Go ahead, Baital. Turn back. Turn back. Why? What's wrong? Never mind why. Don't try to land here. Now. Changing the course to... Jimmy! What's happened? By tall. By tall. This is co-pilot O'Connor. Something has happened. turn this case over to me, and I promise you I'll have that dragon eaten out of my hand in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Yes, sir, two shakes. Now, uh, maybe you fellas don't know this, but I'm a champion detective. Uh, back in my hometown in Arkansas, where I come from, they call me Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> well, when ever somebody loses a dog or something that they want to get back real bad, turn the case over to me, and I get it back for them. Of 
course, that is in case he really lost or something, then I don't always do it. But, uh, of course, I don't know who this guy, the dragon, is. But if I get my hands on him, why, well, there's no telling what I'm liable to do. Yan Yan hoping on. Oh, Kong, Tanga Ting Kan, Yo Yan Leia, Yan Yan hoping on. Are the gentlemen here? Yes, sir. Here comes Merritt up now. Come, come, gentlemen. This is no funeral. It has been for those of you as our airlines. Gentlemen, our dream of an international airway must be abandoned. I agree with you. Gentlemen, do you realize what you're saying? International airways is more than a dream, it's a reality. For the first time in history, nations of the world have joined hands in the work of a plan for peace. And now you talk of abandoning it. There's no alternative. We can't fight an invisible enemy. We haven't started fighting yet, but it's time that we did. What do you mean, Mr. Meridor? I've ordered out another ship. Without consulting us? When did the ship leave? He left last night at midnight. Do you mean to say that people have actually booked passage on that ship? Meredith, do you realize you're sending every person on that plane to certain death? Winston is right. It's murder. Nonsense. There will be no accident this time. Well, it's easy enough for you to talk, Meredith. You're not on that thing. It may interest you to know, gentlemen, that my son is on that plane. Oh. <laughs> all right so far. Wouldn't you like to go? Oh, take it away, take it away. Yeah, but those passengers sure are nervous. I'd give a million dollars to hear a good jazz band right now. Try 742. Leaving the ground, contact, here for the gun. Put her nose in the wind, head for the sun. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, steady and strong. I say, who is he? Zooming along. What a long point. Give me a wind that sings between two wings, making a song, rushing along. Let it be clear or cloudy weather. My great and I together, up in the clouds, far from the crowds, below, moving along with a song. Give me a motor's roar, give me a plane to soar into the blue, following through. Give me a trail to blaze. Whoever that guy is, he sure snapped him out of it. You know. I've seen that fellow somewhere before. Face is so familiar. Who is he? He's Mr. Drummond. He crashed in the London plane at Tokyo. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Give me the open sky. Give me a ship to fly. Give me a song. Give me a ship and a Field, calling Queen of India. Fight out, field, calling Queen of India. Fight out. 
Cronin, Queen of India. Queen of India. Go ahead, Baital. Is everything all right? Sure, everything's okay. What's your position? Just crossing the border, flying out. Something has happened. What can it be? It's the pilot. Oh, hello, Baital. Something has happened to the... to circle us twice just before Pete was killed. I wonder if that's... She's gonna land. Do you think you can handle the ship now? Sure, why? I want to take a closer look at that plane. Hey, I can't put this ship down here. I don't want you to. Take her on the Vital. I'm bailing out. I'll see you at the airport. Nobody you stay here. But isn't that Dr. Barr? I must see him. Please, more better you stay here. Oh, all right. What's that car doing here? Master! Master! Something's up. What's wrong, Lodan? White girl come. White girl? Who is she? Name trainer. Say she look for father. Trainer's daughter here? Feel she's made as comfortable as possible. Prepare one of the cabins for her. You're crazy, Bauer. When she finds out what On we On the don't... contrary, my dear Wyko. Miss Trainer is going to do what we have been unable to. Make her father talk. I certainly got to hand it to you, Bauer. Master, look. Wait. You may have come here with Miss Trainer. Rodan, take good care of the girl. Men have been killed fooling with airplanes. Get away from that plane and put your hands up. You'll find my card in there. We are indeed honored, Michael. Our visitor is a very distinguished person. None other than the famous Ace Drummond of Washington, D.C. Ace Drummond, what are you doing in Mongolia? Just what I was going to ask you, gentlemen. Pardon the oversight. I'm Dr. Bauer of the Archaeological Society. This is Mr. Wyckoff, my assistant. May be of word we are searching for the lost tomb of Genghis Khan. Mokoff. Sorry, we haven't the car to take you to the airport. Well, that's all right. Goodbye, Drummond. I'll be seeing you again. <laughs> what was that? Get going. All right.
right, get in that car. I'll stop them.
been hit. They shot away my rudder control. Whoever you are, sir, we owe you our lives. Not to me, but to God. Who are you, my son? I'm Ace Drummond. Miss Trainer and I were flying to Baital Airport when our plane was mysteriously shot down. As I was helping Miss Trainer out of the plane, these natives attacked us. Attacked you? Why? I'll tell you why. The foreign devil bird wrecked our shrine and broke the sacred gong. But it was an accident, Kaichek. These strangers were not to blame. Why can't these accursed foreigners stay by themselves? Why must they? Silence, Kaichek. Return to the monastery. Have no fear. Chang Ho will see that you reach the airport safely. Contact, spin them around. Contact, leave in the ground. Contact, give her the gun. Put her nose in the wind, head to the sun. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, steady and strong, zooming along. Give me a wind that sings between two wings, making a song, rushing along. Let it be clear or cloudy weather, my great and I together. Far from the clouds, far from the crowds, below. Zooming along with a song. Give me a motor's roar. Give me a plane to soar into the pool. Following pool. Give me a trail to blaze. Cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly. And it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landing. And a tailwind, a good and strong. Give me the open sky. Give me a Drummond. To fly. Ace Drummond. Give me a Oh, say, I always did want to meet that guy. And the sun. Airport, Missy. Oh, perfect three point landing. This is my pal, Billy Meredith, his father's head of the International Airways Committee. Hello, Billy. Oh. Where's your dad? He's in the office waiting for you. I'll report to him right away. You take good care of Miss Trainer. You bet. I'm leaving you in good hands. <laughs> Would you please tell Mr. Meredith Ace Drummond is here? You are Ace Drummond. I can tell you how glad I am to meet you, Mr. Drummond. I'm Henry Key, a member of the commission. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Key. This way, the commission are waiting for you. Ace. We've been worried about you. How are you? Hello, Mr. Meredith. Gentlemen, this is Ace Drummond. Baron Caldoni, Monsieur LePage, Mr. Winston. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Drummond. 
But I'm afraid you got here too late. Too late? Yes. Nothing can save International Airways now. Why, surely you don't mean to abandon the project. You could hardly blame us. Our equipment being destroyed, our planes wrecked, and our pilots mysteriously killed. I know, gentlemen. That's just why I was sent out from Washington. We know your reputation, Mr. Drummond, but you don't realize what you're up against. We've taken every human precaution and failed. How can anyone fight an invisible enemy? The only way to fight an invisible enemy is to bring him out in the open, where he can be seen. Mr. Trader, this is Jerry, the head mechanic, and I'm his grease monkey. Well, I'm mighty glad to meet any friend of my number one grease monkey here. Happy to meet you, Jerry. That wristwatch, where did you get it? Well, I didn't steal it, miss. Honest, I didn't. I just found it over here in the hills. Please, may I see it? Well, sure. It's my father's. Where did you find it? Your father's? Why, I found it over here in Hung Chung Valley. I've got to tell Mr. Drummond. So you see, international airways must not be abandoned. I heartily agree with you. Mr. Drummond, look, my father's wristwatch. Where did you get this? The chief mechanic found it in Hung Chung Valley. Gentlemen, you asked me just now if I had any clues. I believe this is one. What do you mean? Miss Trainer came to Mongolia to search for her father, who disappeared mysteriously some time ago. I believe his disappearance is linked with the attacks on international airways. Where's the mechanic? Outside, working on one of the planes. I want him to show me where he found this. I'll report to you later. dead or somebody's holding him prisoner. That's Hum Chung Valley. Hey, look, there's a plane down there. That's right where I found that watch. Let's put out and have a look. the man to rob you, trainer. Tell us where that mountain of jade is located, and we'll see to it that you get safely back to America. Whoever you are, you're wasting your time. If I told you where the mountain of jade is, I'd never get out of Mongolia alive. Make any difference to you if we told you your daughter is here, looking for you? My daughter? I don't believe it. It won't be hard to convince you of that. Master! Master! Devil bird, come. One of the planes from the airport. It's that ace Drummond. Let me handle this. If Drummond suspects us, it means the end of all our plans. Well, hello there, Doc Bauer. Hey, how's the archaeological business doing, huh? All right. Having some trouble? Yeah, carburetor's been acting up a little there. Can we help you? No, I think it's okay now, thanks. Well, let's get back to work. Well, uh, so long, Doc. So long. Those airport pilots don't make a habit of landing here. Lucky for us it wasn't drumming.
What is it? Raman. Open the door. Don't be a fool, Michael. He came here on the plane. Jerry knows we're here, and you'll be waiting for him to come out. We can't let him find out anything. I know how to stop him. Hey, Raman, this is the hall of dead king. He must not reach the airport. The dragon commands. The Hall of Dead King. That's a job for the plane. Order out a squadron at once. Right. Wrong, Garrett. The dragon plane. We gotta get out of here quick. Dragon plane? The same outfit that attacked the airport. They're heading this way. That's a tough break. I was just about to find out something. Oh, we can't wait for that now, Ace. I've got a prisoner that might give us some important information. But we can't wait. Jerry, I know how we can do it. I'll take off in your plane. When they chase me, you grab the prisoner in that tunnel and hit for the airport in Bowers' plane. Okay, Ace.
Legion Command. the wreck and make sure the drumming is done for. Well, what's the use? That's one cracker beetle never walk out of. 
We better go back and report the plate, Commander. All right, go ahead. I'll take a look around. is out now double checking to make sure we'll take off as soon as he comes back well nikolai you satisfied now that drummond's dead get away from that radio drummond get in that forward cockpit so you think you're gonna take me prisoner huh well you'll never get away with it drummond We'll see about that after I've had a look at where you birds roost. Back to the base. What are you doing with this machine gun? It's all right, Mr. Key. I'm going up after the dragon plane. By whose authority? Well, they got Ace Drummond. I've got to. I... You do nothing of the kind. Take that gun back to the arsenal. What's it all about, son? Jerry wants to go after the dragon plane, but Mr. Key won't let him. I'll take care of that. It's all right, Mr. Key. That's the spot in the got Ace Drummond. Ace, 
You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm all right. It's a good thing you got my signal, you'd have drilled me. You sure had my range. Gee, Ace, you got one of the Dragon's planes. I got something more important than that, Billy. What did you do with the prisoner, Jerry? Some of the boys got him locked up over in the tool shed. Prisoner? Where did you get him? In the Hung Chung Valley, where Jerry and I went to look for Peggy's father. Did you find any trace of my father? No. We were on the right track when the Dragon plane swooped down on us, and we had to get out quick. Bring the native over into the conference room. We'll find out how much he knows. OK. Who is the Dragon? Me no savvy Dragon. You know who I mean, the man you're working for. Who is he? Me no savvy Dragon. Then why did you attack me? That cave, Hall of Dead Kings. Sacred to my people. You keep away. Perhaps she's telling the truth after all. Native superstition, you know. But Mr. Winston, I tell you, this man must be connected with the dragon. Right after we took him prisoner, the dragon planes appeared and tried to rescue him. But how could they possibly know anything about it? I know that the dragon was in constant communication with his squadron. There must be some secret means of... The war. In this, no time. Or Mr. Meredith will never see his son again. The dragon command. My son. But I just left him at the plane with Peggy and Jerry. Keep an eye on the prisoner. Billy. 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 Why, I saw him just a moment ago. Billy, Billy, where are you? There's his jacket. Billy, Billy! 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 You want me, Pop? My boy, you're all right? Sure, I'm all right. What's the matter? But, but the dragon said that Billy... It's a trick. Where's the prisoner? I was guarding him when someone hit me from behind. That's all I remember. He must have gone out through the window. That's thinking quick. Drop everything, Jerry, and come with me. Is that a shortcut? Yeah, if you got wings. Hang on. Sacred retreat of the holy man. You cannot enter. But the man we're after came in here. No man entered here. Ah, oh, don't give us that. We saw him. Send the side case in. 
It is written, the portal of holiness shall be closed to no man. Enter, my son. Thank you, Holy One. We seek an evildoer. You go around the other way and I'll search over here. Okay. So this is how you view the kindness of the Holy One. I didn't kill him. I heard the shot and found him dead. That isn't my gun. Do you expect us to believe that? Seize him! escape from that room. Stand guard here. I'll tell the Holy One.
you expect us to believe that? Seize him! Stand guard here. I'll tell the Holy One. This common you have seen your own doom. Now, the dragon's trance. What is this sky check? A deed of violence within the holy wall? This is Drummond's friend. He must have attacked the guards. This is most unfortunate. These things should not happen here. Open the door. Are you all right? Yes, but I sure had a narrow escape from those closing walls. Closing walls? What do you mean? A clever little arrangement for crushing a man to death. Somebody locked me in and turned it on. Holy One, this must be the room of death the ancient records tell about. I have long known that one of the rooms was used for that purpose, but never knew which one. When Mr. Drummond slammed the door, the shot must have started the mechanism. That must be the explanation. Sky check. Tells me there is blood upon your hands. I didn't kill Lotan. He was dead when I found him. You forget we found you standing over him with this gun in your hand. Let me take a look at that gun. I knew I'd seen it before. This gun belongs to Henry Key over at the airport. Henry Key? Sure, there's his initials right on the gun. You mean the Mongolian member of the Committee of International Airways? Maybe he can throw some light on who killed Lotan. He's just saying that to clear himself. I had no reason to kill Lotan. On the contrary, I had every reason for taking him alive. Why, sure. We just wanted to find out what he knew about those mysterious attacks on international airways. Yes, we were questioning him at the airport when the dragon warned me to let him go. The dragon? Yes, the mysterious enemy who was trying to keep international airways out of this country. There is more here than meets the eye, Kaiche. Let them go their way in peace. Thank you, Holy One. A request, good father. That prayer wheel gave me the idea that saved my life. May I have it as a keepsake? Grant it, my son. Fetch it for him, Chang Ho. May the blessings of the wheel descend upon you, my son. You are very kind, Holy One. What do you want with that darn thing? Some kind of radio receiving set that the dragon uses. And I'm gonna find out how it works. Yeah. Tell them to stand by, Billy. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Stand by, Peggy. Ace is gonna try again. We're ready. Here goes another try, Jerry. Go ahead, Ace. I've got my fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five. Now's the time for all good men and true to come to the aid of their country. Well, has he started yet? Ah, oh, we're wasting our time. This thing might have talked to Ace, but it's sure not on speaking terms with me. One, two, three, four. Check. How about it, Peggy? It still doesn't work. He says it still doesn't work. I give up. I've tried every wavelength in Mongolia. Well, why do you suppose it doesn't work? The dragon must have special equipment of his own. You suppose we haven't used enough things? Look, Ace. Let's try this one. I'll try anything once. It 
working. Look, Ace, something's happening. Well, here goes. One, two, three, four. Tell Ace I heard him. Jimmy said it works. I'll be surprised if it's safe. Give me a motor to roar, give me a plane to soar into the blue, following through. Give me a trail to blaze, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landings, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, Give me a song, give me a ship and a song. What are you doing, Drummond? Just a minute. How about it, Peggy? It worked, Ace, it worked. Come on. Where are you going? What's this all about? I just found out how the dragon talks to his men. Well, of what value is that? Don't you see, Mr. Winston, we can listen in when the dragon talks. If what you say is true, we'll know the dragon's plans and be ready whenever he strikes. There's no doubt about it. Come over to the hangar and I'll prove it to you. I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Meredith. That's all right, Johnny. Oh, uh, Mr. Drummond's been using the radio while you were gone. Thank you. Please, Mr. Drummond. G5, calling C1. G5. Calling C1. 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 Go ahead. G5. Regret. Urgent news. Makes necessary. Call you now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. We heard every word just as plainly as if you were right here in the room. Boy, it sure worked, Amy. Where did you get it? At the monastery where Jerry and I chased Lotan. We were just about to grab him when he was mysteriously killed with this gun. Jerry says it belongs to Henry Key. Henry Key? Mm hmm So it does. Look, Mr. Key's plane is landing now. Better hear what he has to say. How'd you do, gentlemen? Hello, Key. Hello. Mr. Key, have you ever seen this gun before? Of course, it was mine. Was? I sold it a week ago. Would you mind telling us to whom you sold it? Not at all. To Dr. Bauer. May I ask, what this is all about? Mr. Meredith will explain. Excuse me. Hey, Jerry. Got a car handy? For sure, Ace. What's up? You and I are going to run over to Dr. Bauer's camp and pay him a little visit. Peggy, you and Billy wait at the office.
Here they come. What's that? It's Billy. He's trying to warn us. Yeah, thanks to you, Billy. If you hadn't warned us, we'd have walked right into their trap. Say, how did you know about it, anyway? I heard it by him giving orders to his men. You what? Yes, over the prayer room, just after you left. I bet it was Henry Keene. I'll know more about that after I've talked with Bauer. You go on to the monastery and get help for those men, then take Billy on to the airport. You're not going to tackle Bauer alone. Gee, Ace, he may be the dragon. I think I can handle him all right. Where's Dr. Bauer? It's a car coming. Hey, Drummond, what are you doing here? I came to see you, Dr. Bauer. Indeed. What about? This gun. I understand it's yours. Mine? If it were, it would have my own initials on it. Oh, yes, the initials. I know they're Henry Keyes, but I understand he sold you the gun. Well, if Henry Key is trying to plant a gun on you, he's doing it to cover himself. What do you mean, Wyckoff? There are some things that Henry Key might find it hard to explain. Son, there's been a bad accident. A car with four people in it went off the cliff. I come to get help. Chang Ho, send several of the monks out to help them. How did it happen, my son? They were chasing Ace Drummond and me, and the car went off the road. Christ doomed is he who dies with evil in his heart. Drummond has escaped the trap you set for him. I'll send more men at once. Send the plane to the Hall of Dead Kings. Yes, sir. What you tell me is very interesting, Wyckoff. I'll certainly ask Henry Key to explain. Sorry to have left you too abruptly, uh, Drummond, but there were some very important instructions I had to give to my native digger. Quite all right, Dr. Bauer. You're not leaving us, are you? Yes, the sooner this is settled, the better. Oh, while you're here, we'd like to show you around. We have on earth some very interesting things. Help! Let me out! 
Very interesting. It sounded like a man's voice. Oh, we hear all sorts of funny noises around here. Yo! It came from in there. Wait. Ooh. He may not have come here alone. Searching for you ever since you disappeared. My dear trainer, what on earth happened to you? Wyckoff and I had given you up for dead. I was captured by some natives in the pay of two men who've been holding me prisoner here. Do you know who they are? No, they always kept their faces covered. Why were they holding you prisoner? To make me tell them the location of a mountain of jade which I discovered. A mountain of jade? Why, that would be worth millions. Maybe that's the stake the dragon's playing for. I think you'll pay the drummer. And it would explain why the dragon doesn't want the airport located here in Mongolia. Maybe you're right, Bauer. At any rate, you can give me a lot of valuable information, Dr. Trainer. Let's go to the airport at once. You coming along? No, thanks. We don't make an archaeological discovery like this every day. We'll drop over to the airport this evening, Trainer, and see how you're getting along. Thank you. Car's out over here, Doctor. It looks like one of those dragon planes. Get ready.
Where's the car? My car is right over here, Doctor. Duck for the trees. What are you going to do? I'll be all right. Get undercover. That sounded like an explosion. Look, there's a plane circling over there where we left base. That's one of them dragon planes. The Raptor race. We've got to help it. Not that way. Let's get the natives. Never mind the rifle. Get back to your work. What happened, Ace? The dragon plane try and get you? And how? Well, where's Dr. Trainer? Dr. Trainer? You mean you found Peggy's father? Yes. Somebody was holding him prisoner in the Hall of Dead Kings. Bauer and Wyckoff were with him when I found him. Come on. Drummond, then you're all right. I'm sure you were done for. We saw the plane land and ran to get our men. Then I suppose you don't know what happened to Dr. Trainer. On the contrary, we saw the plane pick him up. But do you mean the Dragon's men have him? What makes you think that was a Dragon plane? Well, don't you know, Dr. Bauer? Listen, Drummond, I'm sick of your insinuations. If you think that I'm in any way connected with those mysterious attacks on the airport, you better prove it. I haven't accused anybody yet, Dr. Bauer. But if you'll come with me over to the airport and face Henry Key, we'll have a showdown as to which of you own this gun. I'll be over. As soon as I've attended to some important matters at my camp. I hate to tell Peggy the bad news about her father. For sure of one thing, Peggy, your father is still alive. But why should the dragon want to keep Dad a prisoner? He's an archaeologist. He wouldn't harm anyone. Your father claims it's because he discovered a mountain of jade the dragon is trying to get hold of. Well, who do you really think the dragon is, Ace? There's a lot of evidence pointing to Henry Key. But on the other hand, Dr. Bauer certainly must have had something to do with holding your dad prisoner in the Hall of the Dead Kings. Sorry to make you folks move, but I gotta warm this plane up. Who's taking her out, Bill? Mr. Henry Key. Henry Key? Where is he? Well, he just telephoned from the office. Well, this is one flight that'll have to wait. I've got business with Mr. Key. Hello, Johnny. Mr. Key inside? Yes, Mr. Drummond. All gentlemen there. Whole committee meeting. Thanks. I tell you, gentlemen, the sooner we get rid of Ace Drummond, the better off we will be. All he has accomplished so far is to antagonize the natives. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Mr. Key says that I have accomplished nothing to date. That is not so. I have here the gun that killed the dragon's messenger. Strangely enough, it has Mr. Key's initials on it. Mr. Key informs me that he sold the gun to Dr. Bauer. Unfortunately, Dr. Bauer knows nothing about it. Dr. Bauer is coming here this afternoon and we'll have a showdown. That is, if Mr. Key is willing to forego his little trip. You see, gentlemen, more upset charges. Mr. Drummond is hinting that I'm the dragon. 
Now, why should he, a member of this commission, seek to destroy the international airways? A project dear to all our hearts. After all, Dr. Bauer is a man of international reputation. And it's his word against Mr. Key. Very well, gentlemen. I shall postpone my trip. You can reach me at my quarters. Mr. Meredith, this gun is a rather important piece of evidence. I suggest that you lock it up in the safe. A good idea, Drummond. Johnny, what does this mean? Please, Mr. Drummond, I'm fixing radio. What became of that fellow that ran in here? Fellow? Yeah. 
Dr. Bauer is coming over here. So I think it'll be a small chance for us to search his camp while he's away. If he's the dragon, maybe I can find out where they've taken my father. I'll get a car. You meet me in back of the hangar. To my cell, Holy One, to do penance. Peace be with you, my son. C4 reporting. Brenner's daughter and the boy are on their way to Bowers' camp. They should be watched. I'll take care of it. You fool, what are you trying to do? Watch your pressure, you'll blow the thing to pieces. Go over to the storeroom and get those other specimens. We're in luck, Peggy. There's nobody around. That's Dr. Bowers' cabin.
The keys are gone. I'll go get something and break the lock.
show you back to your car. I believe it's right over behind those bushes, isn't it? Yes, uh-huh. Thank you, Mr. Wyckoff. Well, goodbye, Miss Trainer. Um, I'm sorry I didn't see Dr. Bowers. Yes, he'll be sorry, too. Goodbye. Goodbye. I must. Please don't try to talk. You're badly hurt. I must. Tell. Tell he's dormant. Henry Keys.
up in the clouds, far from the clouds. Oh, zooming along with a song. Give me a motor to roar, give me a plane to soar into the blue, following through. Give me a trail to blaze, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landing, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, give me a song, give me a ship and a song. <laughs> Boy, that dumb singing, eh? That's swell. Hey, there's Peggy and the kid now. I better see what they found out. Hello, Johnny. Is Mr. Drummond around? No, you see. But other gentlemen waiting to see you. Thanks. Gentlemen, I agree with Ace Drummond. As soon as he brings Dr. Bauer face to face with Henry Key, we are certain to get a definite clue to the dragon. Mr. Meredith, that can never be. What do you mean, Miss Trainer? That's terrible. Which one of us will be next? How did it happen? I don't know, Ace. He was still alive when we found him lying on the side of the road. Did he say anything before he died? He tried to tell me something, but, but died before he could finish. Well, what did he say? His exact words were, tell Ace Drummond that Henry Key... Henry Key? Key ought to be here any minute now. There's the car I chased. Are you sure, Billy? Well, you must be mistaken, Billy. That's Henry Key's car. Miss Trainer, gentlemen, Mr. Drummond, where's Dr. Bauer? Are you trying to tell us that you don't know what's happened to Dr. Bauer? What makes you think I do? Your car was seen at the spot where Dr. Bauer was murdered. Bow murdered. Quit stalling, Key. Your car was positively identified. There are plenty of cars that look like mine. What reason could I have for killing Dr. Bauer? Because Bauer was on his way here to expose you. That's the dragon, I suppose. Do you gentlemen really believe that I, a member of the commission, am trying to wreck the international airways? I see. Are you ready to swear out a warrant for my arrest, Mr. Drummond? You travel too fast, Key. That'll come in due time. I thought so. Gentlemen, good day. father's diary. Where did you get it? I found it in Dr. Bauer's desk. It's funny that he suddenly stopped writing in English. Was he in the habit of writing in queer-looking oriental language? No, only when he wanted to keep something a secret. Maybe Johnny Wong can translate. That's a good idea, Billy. It might explain why the dragon is holding him prisoner. Johnny, would you translate this for us? I'm so sorry, Mr. Drummond. This very ancient language, only very wise men can be saying. Grand Lama at monastery, one very learned man. Very happy to take book to him for you. That's kind of you, Johnny. I'll go right away. But I think I'll go myself, thanks.
mother has got hold of Craven's diary and is flying to the monastery to have it translated. Stop him. The dragon commands. Well, trainer, you don't have to tell us where the Mountain of Jade is located. Yeah, as soon as the dragon gets his hands on your diary, he'll find out all about it. You can eye on him. I'll go on the plane with Sergi. I tell you, he's putting down. No use hiding, Drummond. We know you're in that cockpit. What do you guys want here? We want trainer's diary. Hand it over. Drummond's getting away in our plane. This is written in a very ancient language, my son. Only one man in the monastery can translate it, my disciple Chang Ho. I will take you to his room. Thank you, Holy One. Here is a task for you, Leonard Chang Ho. A modern manuscript written in the lost language of the Third Dynasty. Second day of the month of the lotus. That's June in your calendar. I'll see who it is. What is it? Holy One, say you come. The Grand Lama wishes to see me, Chang Ho. I'll be back in a minute. Very good, Mr. Drummond.
finished so soon, my son? Why, no, you sent for me. There must be some mistake. I did not send for you. It was no mistake. See who it is. What is it? Holy one, say you come. The Grand Lama wishes to see me, Tang Ho. I'll be back in a minute. Very good, Mr. Drummond. Finished so soon, my son? Why, no, you sent for me. There must be some mistake. I did not send for you. It was no mistake. Wait, my son! I don't know, but he seems to feel there is something amiss.
take care of him. I'll get some air in this place. Jung Ho. Jung Ho, my son. Did you see Ace Drummond come out of there? Mr. Drummond? I have not seen him since Grand Lama took him to visit the learned Chang Ho. Now, well, someone's taking him out through that underground passage. Impossible. Nothing like that could happen in this monastery. Yeah, well, it did happen. Are you all right? What evil will tell you? What have they done with Ace? I don't know. I was engrossed in translating the diary when Suddenly, I lost consciousness. Someone has torn a page out of Trainer's diary. You know what was on it? Something about the mountain of jade. I was just on the point of learning its exact location when I was overcome. The mountain of jade. That's what the dragon's after. Is there anything I can do, Holy One? Help me to get Chang Ho out into the corridor. I told you never to leave with your right. Ace! Boy, am I glad to see you. I thought the dragon had you. That's exactly what I want people to think. I, I don't get you, Ace. I've got to find the missing page of Trainer's diary. Well, what can I do? Go back to the plane and pretend you've got motor trouble. I may need you in a hurry. Some candy now. Go on. Bye, Tao. Hello, bye, Tao. Bye, Tao. Bye, Tao, Edwin. Hello, bye, Tao. This is Jerry speaking. Go ahead, Jerry. I'm at the monastery. Tell Billy Meredith. So sorry. He not here. It's for you, Billy. Hey, Johnny, that calls for me. Oh, excuse, please. Not knowing you're still here. Mr. Jerry wants to talk to you. Hello, Jerry. Just one moment, please. Hello, Jerry. Go ahead, this is Billy. Yes? Gee, that's swell. Sure, I'll tell Peggy. She's right here with me now. Okay, tell Ace happy landing. So long. Gee, Peggy, Ace is disguised as a native, and he's tracking down one of the dragon's men. Did they find out why the dragon's holding my father prisoner? Jerry didn't say anything, but I'll bet you that's what Ace is after. Come on, let's go tell my dad. Thanks, Johnny. Do happy, please. Good afternoon, Miss Trainer. Have they found your father yet? Not yet, Mr. Keebert. Uh, but we hope to have news soon. I sincerely hope so. Why did you nudge me? Don't you know Ace suspects he's a dragon? Are you sure? 
I heard it with my own ears. We must send a message at once. Keep away from the hideout. Make no attempt to contact the dragon in person. Beast Dolphin is on your trail. The dragon commands. I did like pigeon pie. You're not eating these birds, Terry. They're carrier pigeons. Carrier pigeons? Oh, <laughs> hey, what are they carrying? They're going to carry us straight to the dragon's hideout. Hey, what makes you think these birds know where the dragon lives? I just saw one of their little pals turned loose with a message tied to his leg. Unless I'm mistaken, he's headed for the dragon's hideout. Yeah? Get in. from Trainer's Diary. It must tell where the Mountain of Jade is located. I've been waiting a long time for this. What are you going to do? Now that we have that, the dragon won't need Trainer anymore. How about reading that note so we can start looking for the Mountain of Jade? 
the matter? Can't you read it? Some sort of secret writing. Hey, Sergi! Wait, don't shoot! What's the idea? We don't need him anymore. That page from his diary tells where the mountain of jade is. Yeah, but it's written in some secret language. Well, he wrote it. We'll make him read it. What sort of language is this, trainer? It's just what you said it was. A secret language. Only a few scholars in the world can read it. And you're one of them. Get busy and read it or... The dragon. He's come has discovered the secret of the carrier pigeons. Stop him before he finds his way to our hideout. The dragon command. Get three of the men and have them meet me at the other end of the tunnel. Aye. You stay here and guard the prisoner and see that no harm comes to him. send a message. Well, I guess you better fix it. sure call your shot. I thought we'd be looking for this bird for a week. Not so loud, Jerry. The dragon's men are around here somewhere. Yeah. Well, if they are, they're sure keeping themselves well hid. Say, let's go up on that ridge and take a look around. One of our men. Pick up the gun. We might need it. Wait. I might hit the wrong man. He came out of those bushes. See what you can find. Hey, hey! It's a tunnel. Maybe it leads to their hideout. We gotta get them before they get through the tunnel. Hey, it looks like a storeroom. We must be getting close to their hideout. There they are. And 
And now we've got him. It's the guy we tied up. Where's Dimey? Over here, it's our only chance. Don't shoot. You'll blow up all our ammunition. Yeah, what of it? like a storeroom. We must be getting close to their hideout. There they are. And now we've got them. It's the guy we tied up. Where's Dimey? Give me one of those guns. I'll fly over the mountain to the hideout, and you two get back to your post. Hello. 
What's this? Some of our carrier pigeons. Now I see how Drummond found this place. Hello, Boris. Did you get Drummond? No. He and his partner headed this way. Get Trainer out of here, quick. You needn't think Drummond's gonna rescue you, Trainer. I'll put you where you'll never find you. Get the rock room, boys. Get some guts. We'll get Drummond as he comes out. Come on, get out of here. There's a ship landing. It's our plane. Looks like one of them is dragging the other one along. It's Dr. Trainer, Peggy's father. Drummond's still alive and they're headed this way. They're going to take him away on the plane. See, maybe we can stop them. There they are now. Jerry, jump! Let's take no chances. You know what the dragon will do to us if we lose Trainer? You're right. Get in there. Come on, hurry up. Hey, are you working for the dragon, too? What's the idea of making me jump? Oh, gee. That's two I owe you. Too good a shot. Think me all four got this. Do as you're told. Make things busy for Drummond. They can't do that to me. You better let the dragon know where we're taking trainer. That's easy. I got the carrier pigeons here. I'll write a note and release the bird. Hey, I got a scheme. If you stick your nose out of here, you'll get it shot off. No, no, it's not me. You watch now, Ace. I'm going to outflank these guys. idea how they've been cracking up our planes. Jerry, the dragon signal. It's coming from that water wheel. An international airways clipper ship is taking off for Baital Airport. It must not get through. The dragon command. Crack up that clipper ship just like the others. We've got to get there in time to warn them. DX. Contact Vitel Field and tell them we're on our way. Right.
calling by tell. Queen of the Orient calling by tell. By tell. By tell left him. Yes? Talk, please. Queen of Orient? Cut that into the conference room, Johnny. Yes, Mr. Meredith. Flying at 2200 on all motors. Visibility perfect. 20 mile following wind. Any instructions? Nothing new. But please do keep in touch. Sorry, but my orders are no further broadcast from the plane without an OK check from Ace Drummond. Did you hear that in there? Sorry, Mr. King. But Mr. Meredith's order. In my opinion, it's very unwise to cut off the plane's communication with the ground. It is more than unwise, gentlemen. It is very dangerous. As a member of this commission, I demand that the order be countermanded at once. So that the pilots will wear their headphones when they approach Bytel Field. Nothing would suit the Dragon better. Meredith is right. One of the first things Drummond discovered was that the Dragon's death ray always strikes through the pilot's headphones. Do you still want that order rescinded, Key? Key, International Airways is going on in spite of the Dragon's attempts to wreck it. The peace of the world depends upon that. Ace Drummond was sent out here from Washington to solve this mystery, and the conduct of affairs is in his hands now. Very well, gentlemen. If that's your answer, good day. I wish Ace Drummond was here. Suppose the dragon... Sorry, Dad. It went into a side slit. I hope it didn't crack up. Now run along, Billy. We're busy. Thanks, Dad. Did you break it, Billy? No, it isn't even scratched. How do you like this one? Oh, gee, where'd you get it? As long as we're powerless to protect the Queen of the Orient, our wisest course is to order her to turn back. I've told you repeatedly, Winston, that order must come from Ace Drummond. Then why isn't he here to give it? Disaster overtakes her. Drummond will be to blame. Oh, I feel so guilty. If Ace hadn't gone to the monastery in my account, he would have been here to defend himself. Ace and Jerry should have been back a long time ago. Do you suppose anything could have happened to them? I'm going to the monastery and find out. Take me with you, will you, Peggy? All right. It'll be dark before we reach the monastery. There's a car behind us. I wonder if it's following us. Step on it and see. To warn you that the dragon is about to strike. You must turn back at once. You seem well informed of the dragon's plans. I tell you, you're risking your lives. Thank you for the warning, Mr. Key.
Grace Drummond been here? He doesn't understand English. What do we do? I know. The Grand Lama speaks English. We wish to see the Lama. Lama. A thousand pardons if I intrude. But did you wish to see the Grand Lama? Yes. I'm Chang Ho, humble disciple of the Holy One. Please take me to him. I must see him at once. It is forbidden for a woman to enter the monastery, but you may wait in the courtyard. Thank you. You may wait here. Thank you. The last time I was here was the day Ace's plane went out of control. We crashed against that wall. Oh, you sure were lucky to get out of that alive. What is it, my son? A white lady from the airport wishes to speak to the Holy One. I will see her. Here comes the Grand Lama. Chang Ho tells me you are looking for Mr. Drummond. He left some hours ago. Could you tell me which way he went? I'm sorry, I cannot tell you that. He and his friend flew away without leaving any word. Thank you. Well, Billy, I guess there's nothing we can do except go back to the airport. If Ace and Jerry had been gone that long, not getting back to the airport, there's only one answer. They've crashed. Well, can't we do something? Say, Peggy, that day you crashed. Did Ace take that signal pistol out of the plane? I don't think so, Billy. Why? Excuse me, please. If he's within 10 miles of here, he'll see this. A signal rocket. Say, now, Ace, we're in Mongolia, and this ain't the 4th of July. There's no doubt about it, Jerry. That's a distress signal. You don't suppose something's happened to the Queen of the Orient, do you? No, she couldn't have gotten here so soon. That's coming from the monastery. Come on. Gee, Ace, you saw a signal. Yes, what's up? Ace, you've got to get to the airport right away. The Queen of the Orient... I know, was... Peggy, I know. Come on, let's get to your car. will be within striking distance in 20 minutes. Every man to his post. Are you sure the ray is working? Aye. What about Ace Drummond? Suppose he warns the Queen of the Orient. Don't worry, the dragon is taking care of that. I hope we get to the airport in time to warn the clipper. Look out, eh? Have you heard from the Queen of the Orient, Johnny? I know, Mr. Drummond. Give me those headphones. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. 
Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. Answer, Queen of the Orient. What are you going to do, Drummond? We've got to stop that ship. We heard the dragon give orders to bring her down. But isn't it dangerous to try to contact her? We've got to take that chance. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. When the pilot answers, let him have it. Right. Queen of the Orient, go ahead, Drummond. Turn back. Turn back. It's Drummond. He says, turn back. <laughs> of those things. Remember the dragon strikes through them. I have to be all set in case Drummond calls. Have you heard from the Queen of the Orient, Johnny? Why, no, Mr. Drummond. Give me those headphones. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. Answer, Queen of the Orient. What are you going to do, Drummond? We've got to stop that ship. We heard the dragon give orders to bring her down. But isn't it dangerous to try to contact her? We've got to take that chance. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. When the pilot answers, let him have it. Right. Queen of the Orient, go ahead, Drummond. Turn back. Turn back. It's Drummond. He says, turn back. Look, the jade ball. The dragon's going to strike. Ace! Somebody get a doctor. First power, then Drummond. The dragon will get us all if you don't heed his warning. He's still breathing. Hold it, Johnny. You're not leaving yet. I go get doctor. So you're not hurt, Ace. Well, I'm all right, Billy, thanks to your quick work and Jerry's. Are you sure you weren't going to report to the dragon? Don't know, Mr. Dragon. Don't give us that. You work for him. I saw him put the jade barn on the radio. I've had my suspicions of you for a long time, Johnny, and now we've got you. You'd better talk. Have nothing to say. Don't know, Mr. Dragon. You make a mistake, Mr. Drummond. I'd like to believe you, Johnny, but the evidence against you is too strong. I'm going to lock you up until morning. I'm beginning to understand a great many things. This man was in an ideal position to reveal all our plans to the Dragon. That would explain the Dragon's attacks on the airport and our plane. But why is the Dragon so determined to keep the international airways out of Mongolia? I believe I can answer that. The presence of the airport interferes with his plan to get possession of a jade mountain, which Peggy's father discovered. That's why the dragon's keeping my father prisoner. In heaven's name, who is this dragon? Who got Johnny Wong his job here? Henry Key. Henry Key? A member of the International Airways Commission? Why, that's unbelievable. We'll know more about that after the authorities question Johnny Wong. 
Give me a wind that sings between two wings, making a song, rushing along. Let it be clear or cloudy weather, my great and I together, up in the clouds, far from the crowds, below, zooming along with a song. Give me a motor's roar, give me a plane to soar into the blue, following blue. Give me a trail to blaze, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landings, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly. Give me a song, give me a ship and a song. Bye, Peggy. I hope that when the authorities make Johnny talk, maybe he'll be able to tell us where the dragons were keeping your father prisoner. I hope so. Gee, Ace, can I go too? Not this time, Billy. Your job's to stay here and keep your eyes peeled. Take good care of Peggy. So long. Come on, Peggy. I'll show you my new Scott plane I'm working on. All right. Say, so look, Peggy. Isn't this a honey? I'll bet you'll fly a hundred yards. Be careful, Billy. Ace wouldn't want anything to happen to the prayer wheel. Say, you know, Peggy, it's funny the way that dragon makes that thing talk. Has the dragon called in yet? No. Say, what's the matter? Getting tired of playing nursemaid to old man trainer? I'll nursemaid him just as soon as he tells us where that mountain of jade is. Ace Cullen is on his way to town with Johnny Wong, a prisoner. Now is your chance to strike. Command. I'd better go check with the others. That is, if you're not afraid to stay with old man trainer. He better not try any monkey business with me. Hey, trainer, here's your food. Trainer, wake up! What's the matter, sick? Oh. Trainer, get away from you. I couldn't help it. You know what the dragon will do to us if we don't get him back. You look for him while I give the alarm. Watch this one, Peggy. That's great, Billy. C4 calling. Emergency. Dr. Trainer has escaped from the Hall of Dead Kings. Probably heading for the airport. Stop him at all costs. Peggy, where are you? Gee, Peggy, where were you? That last flight was the best. Oh, I'm sorry, Billy, I missed it. Uh, your father called. He wants you in the office right away. All right. There's a 
plane bearing down on it. Looks like one of those dragon planes. Circling round. Diving on it. Why, it's Henry Key. Seems pretty sure of himself. Keep your eyes open, Jerry. You do the talking, Ace. I'll keep him covered. So at last you come out on the open, Mr. Key. I trouble you to release Johnny Wong. You can't have him. He's staying with us. What's more, you're coming along, too. You forced my hand, Mr. Drummond. I didn't want to do this. Ah, no, you don't. Don't make a move. This will explain everything. Mongolian Secret Service. Ah, oh, that's a fake. There's a number under this insignia. It's on the level. What's your code number, Key? X9. He's okay, Jerry. Put your gun down. Then, then he ain't the dragon? Well, what about this guy? Maybe he's a dragon. I'm sorry to disappoint you. John Wong is one of my most efficient operators. Ah, uh, well, maybe I'm the dragon. I certainly had you all wrong, Key. No time for that now. We must get back to the airport before the dragon strikes. Yes. Ever since you blocked the dragon's plans by recovering the missing page from trainer's diary, we have been afraid the dragon would strike a trainer through his daughter. Especially since you are not there to protect her, Mr. Drummond. I'll fly back with you, Key. Jerry, you and Johnny get back to the airport. Dead kings? What for? I don't know. I found this note just after she'd gone. I heard that my father has escaped from the Hall of the Dead Kings, and I'm going to try and find him. She must have taken the monastery road. We've got to stop her. We can overtake her in my car. Good. out of gas. What'd you stop for? She's gone into the monastery. Well, can't we go too? I have a better plan. Close 
we passed her? No, there's no fire road. It looks like Peggy's car. I hope nothing has happened to her. Her tracks lead to the monastery. You stay here. Hi, Jay. Did Miss Trainer come in here? Miss Trainer? Yes, the American girl from the Air Force. No woman is permitted in this monastery. Of course, Miss Trainer is here. She's with the Holy One. I must see her at once, Chang Ho. Certainly, Mr. Drummond. Thank you. Why do you hide the truth, Guy Jack? If the Holy One knew, he would send you to your prayer wheel for penance. You shame me, worthy Chang Ho. I will go to my prayer wheel. Peace be with you. What happened, Holy One? Where is Miss Trainer? She was with me when two men disguised as monks struck me down and took her away. Look after him, Chang Ho. snooping around. Get ready. You'll be very comfortable here, Miss Trainer, as long as you remain in this room. Who is this? It's me, Peggy. Oh, there's no time for that. I must get you out of here. Is the window locked on the inside? It's nailed. And the door's locked. Don't worry, dear. I'll open the door. <laughs> oh, my dear. I never thought I'd see you again.
locked from the inside. It's nailed. And the door's locked. Don't worry, dear. I'll open the door. Dad. Oh, my dear. I never thought I'd see you again. Mongolian Secret Service. He's waiting outside on the car. Save your breath, Mr. Drummond. These men do not understand English and would not believe you if they did. You're not going to get away with it. I demand to be taken to the monastery. The Lama will vouch for me. Very well. Bye, Gorilla. Peggy, stop them. They're getting... Stop them, Kaisek. They're getting away with this trainer. Stop them, I tell you. What is the trouble, Mr. Drummond? It's all a mistake, Chang Ho. I must see the Lama to have him vouch for me. I'm sorry. But the Holy One is indisposed, as you know. He was struck down and is in no condition to see anyone. But the Dragon's men are getting away with Miss Trainer. I've got to stop them. Miss Trainer is in the hands of the Dragon? Yes, he'll use her to make her father tell where the Mountain of Jade is located. Tell these men to let me go. I'm sorry, I, I have no power to do that. Maybe this will more than pay for the damage. See a sedan chair leave the native village? Yes. Why? The dragon's men have got Peggy Trainer in it. They took the south road. Step on it, Key. That's the road we're going to take. ammunition. Tell Demetri to arm up the plane. Demetri, get the plane ready. Aye, aye, sir. There's the car. Get ready.
looks like one of those dragon planes. The T set dragon plane. You can't outrun them. Head for those rocks. Jump! Gentlemen. Where's Drummond? Over there, behind those bushes, dead. Your last bomb got him. Take us to him. Hold it. Drop those guns. Nice going, Guy. Take their belts off and tie them up. This will be quicker. That'll hold him. Come on, we'll have to hurry. Come on. Oh. Not that way, you clumsy fool. No. Oh, get up. All together. Now, one, two, three, four. There's the suspension. They're calling to that king. That's the hall of that king. Peggy's father was held prisoner there for the dragon. never dream the trainer and his daughter are in the hall of the dead king. The dragon's pretty smart, all right. Yeah, the only thing I don't like to do is risk my neck for him when I don't even know who he is. You'll find out who the dragon is when he gets good and ready. You two men get back to headquarters. Serge and I'll attend to matters here. That's the dragon coming to question trainer. If it is, we'd better get on the job. Let's get back to the prison. Fools, that's Ace Drummond. Get out there and stop him. The dragon commands.
Well, at least we know who the dragon is. Yeah. He's pretty smart posing as an archaeologist. Do you see anything of Drummond? No. I guess he landed over behind those trees. Hey. I thought you sent that sedan chair back to headquarters. I did. But I'm glad they came back. They can help us capture Drummond. I'm going to tell them. Stop the chair and come quickly. We're going to get a Drummond. Drop that gun. Drop it. I'll stay back. Another one around somewhere. Look out, Keith! There where you are. You can't hit him from here. You're right, Keith. I'll try and smoke him out. Here. What you going to do? You make him think we're both still here. you done to Miss Trainer? Answer me. She's in the Hall of Dead Kings with her father. All right. You can join your friends. Get going. Looks like a cave of jewels. Is all this jade? Yes, the vein begins here, but the pure crystal starts deeper in the mountain. They're not here. Well, where are they? They're in the dungeon room. The dungeon room? Yes, it's in back of that statue. I have forgotten you have been here before. Talk fast. What did you do with them? I tell you, I left them here. I, I don't know what happened to them. Come on, get that grating up. Well, I take a look around. tried to cover up the tracks. Dad, I see light ahead. Yes, that's the end of the passage.
steady yourself with the vine. That's right. Be careful, my dear. It's a thousand feet down. I think I see daylight ahead. Coming. There's someone following us. Whoever it is must have discovered the secret of the Jade Mountain. It's Mr. Wyckoff, the archaeologist. Wyckoff? Well, trainer, so you thought you could keep me from finding the secret of the Mountain of Jade. They couldn't have gone that way. They must have crossed here. It was you who kept me prisoner all these months and tortured me. You're the dragon. It's Peggy. You're gonna make it, Drummond. I've got to. Steady yourself with a vine. That's right. Be careful, my dear. It's a thousand feet down. it is must have discovered the secret of the Jade Mountain. It's Mr. Wyckoff, the archaeologist. Wyckoff? Well, trainer, so you thought you could keep me from finding the secret of the Mountain of Jade. They couldn't have gone that way. They must have crossed here. It was you who kept me prisoner all these months and tortured me. You're the dragon. It's Peggy. I'm gonna make it, Drummond. I've got to. Hey! 
going on, Drummond? I'll try to help you. I can make it if the vine holds out. It's solid up here. Wyckoff, where is he? He's gone, he went that way. Peggy, we've got to get out of here. Now that the dragon knows where the mountain of jade is, he'll kill us both. That was a close call, Drummond. There's no telling what Wyckoff may do. We've got to stop him. You can't cross here. We can double back to the Hall of Dead Kings and use the plane. Drummond. What we do with the dragons, the man we put in the dungeon? We'll have to leave them there until we know Peggy and her father are safe. If White calls the dragon, why don't he come and let us out of here? Oh, give him a chance. You know he's out to round up Ace Drummond. Well, I've had enough of this hole. Give me a hand. I'd feel a lot better if we had our guns. I'll fix that. Got one of them. He. He, you're hurt. Never mind me. You go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? Come on, we'll see this through together. Now let's get drumming. They've got to turn back in the wind to take off. Drummond calling by Tal Field. Right there. Right there, Airfield. Yes? Just one minute, please, Mr. Drummond. Mr. Meredith, very anxious to contact you. Hello, Mr. Meredith. I have Mr. Drummond on radio phone right now. At last. Now we'll get some news. Coming, Johnny. Hello, Drummond. Any news of a trainer and her father? What? Key killed by the dragon's men? Yes. Yes, I'll order him out at once. We'll stand by. Run down to the hangar and tell Jerry to take off at once and meet Ace Drummond at Wyckoff's camp. Yes, sir. Tell him to be sure to take his gun. Henry Key, dead. Yes, he took a bullet that was meant for Drummond. And to think we accused Key of being the dragon. 
first power, then key. I tell you, gentlemen, the dragon will get us all before he's through with the international airwaves. What is it, Johnny? Mr. Drummond, radio for you to fly fast to Wyckoff's camp and be sure to bring guns. What doggy? Ace must have found out something. Maybe he's found out Mr. Wyckoff's the dragon. Yeah, bring my helmet, Phil. Hey, Chuck, warm up that ship quick. I'm taking off. Here you are, Cherry. Good luck. Oh, thanks, kid. I'll be seeing you. Chowter! Chowter! Come in, Master! Get the drills and blasting equipment. We're starting for the Mountain of Jade right away. Yes, Master. Give me a hand. Take Mr. Key's body out of the plane and get it under cover. I'll arrange to have it taken to the airport. me, Wyckoff. Take your hands off that gun. Now get away from that desk. What have you done with Miss Trainer and her father? I don't know what you're talking about. You can't get away with that, Wyckoff. I'll get the truth if I have to choke it out of you. I tell you, I haven't seen Trainer or his daughter. Wyckoff's getting away in it. Then Wyckoff's the dragon. No, he isn't. The dragon's after his neck, too. Wyckoff is now in a dragon plane flying over the camp. He must not escape. The dragon commands.
Dragon got him. Yes, and he's the only one who could have told us where Peggy and her father are. There's the monastery, Missy. Please hurry. I need your help. What is it, my child? My father's been injured. He's in that car. He shall be cared for at once. See to it, Chang Ho. Leila. Found anything, Ace? Not a thing. The dragon signal. He came from in there. Tanner and his daughter are at the monastery. Act quickly. The dragon commands. Where's your plane, Jerry? We've got to get to the monastery as fast as we can. Come on. and contact the airport before we take off? You saw what happened to Wyckoff, didn't you? There'll be no radio connections in this ship for the dragon to strike through. Go peacefully now, my brothers. The Holy One would not approve of such a gathering within the courtyard. Why do you rebuke them, Chang Ho? If the Holy One permits foreigners and women to enter the monastery, surely our own people may remain in the courtyard. It is not for us to question the actions of the Holy One, Tai Chi. Wait, my brother! This land is your own. If these foreigners are permitted greater liberties, it will soon be lost to you. Oh, no, no. The foreigner that is now sheltered within your monastery, Within these sacred walls, which you are not permitted to enter, seeks to rob your ancient hills of their wealth. What's that? Some disturbance in the courtyard. I'll go and see. You'd better come with me. I'll give you medicine for your father. Time is near at hand when these invaders must be driven out. There flies one of their devil birds. If I had my way, it would never reach its nest. The Holy One! Okay, what is this guy, Jake? You, a disciple, pledged to follow the path of peace, inciting our people to anger and violence. To your prayer wheel, and do penance at once. Forgive me, Holy One. My love for our people carried me away. Boy, look at that crowd in the courtyard. I don't like the looks of that. Step on it. Peggy. Where's your father? He's inside lying down. He'll want to see you. Go to him, my son. Thank you, Holy One. Understand this, trainer. 
You're not dealing with an imposter now. I am the dragon. Tell me where the mountain of jade is, or... Don't shoot if you do, they'll massacre every foreigner in Mongolia. Come on. He's inside, lying down. He'll want to see you. Go to him, my son. Thank you, Holy One. Understand this, trainer. You're not dealing with an imposter now. I am the dragon. Tell me where the mountain of jade is, or... Let's clear out of here before they get wise. Chang Ho! Clear the courtyard and tell the people violence is not the way to God. Yes, Holiness. Why were my people attacking you? Kai Chek, turn them against us. Kai Chek? It was he you chased through the tunnel? Yes, he was in the room with Dr. Trainer when we broke down the door. Chang Ho! What is it, Holy One? Did you see Kai Chek amongst the crowd? No, Holy One. That settles it. 
Kaichek is a dragon. On the contrary, that proves he isn't the dragon. Well, he disappeared, didn't he? Exactly. That's the last thing he would do if he were the dragon. He wouldn't throw suspicion on himself. All right, wise guy. Who is the dragon? Before I answer that, Jerry, let's go back and talk to Dr. Trainer. Don't forget the dragon was in the room with him. Ace, did you catch the dragon? No, Peggy. But if your father could give us the description of the man who threatened him... I'm sorry, Drummond. I can't give you any clue to his identity. He wore a dragon's head. Oh, well, now that's just swell. We're right back where we started from. We're better off than that, Jerry. We know where the dragon's hideout is. You and I are going to take a little hop over there. Well, what about Peggy and her dad? Oh, father's too weak to be moved right now. You shall be our guests until he is well again. Thank you, Holy One. Come on, Jerry. Let's get to the plane. Now, we're getting near the airport. Yes, I want to let them know what we're going to do. You mean you're going to land? No, I've got a better idea. Take the stick. anything without a good reason. He probably suspects that the dragon might intercept our radio message. Well, 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 well what, what does it say? Peggy and her father are safe at the monastery. Jerry and I are on our way to the dragon's hideout. The dragon has just killed Paul Wyckoff. Wyckoff dead? And we thought he was the dragon. Yeah, what did I tell you? First Bauer, then Henry Key, and now Wyckoff. Sooner or later, the dragon will get us all. And I, for one, am not going to be here when he strikes again. Just what do you mean by that, Winston? I mean, unless you vote to abandon this airport, you can expect my resignation from International Airways. Hey, we're way off our course. The dragon's hideout's over there. I know it. We're not going there. I only want them to think we are. Well, where are we going? Back to the native village to find Kaijek and make him talk. to look at that map of yours. Oh, what do you mean? Why, well, Pat, for a native any time. Look, see? Your own mother wouldn't know you. <laughs> Listen, you scout around town and keep your eyes open for Kai check. If you run into a jam, use the old whistle. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to do a little detective work myself. Hey! 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 Hey, I'm 
summoned you here because communication over the prayer wheel has become too dangerous. We have it. Has Drummond got hold of one of our wheels? Never mind that now. Drummond is on his way to our hideout. He must be eliminated. That is your job, Boris. Not me. I'll do anything else you ask. But I'll not go up against Ace Drummond again. So, you're afraid of Drummond. Is that it? Yes, I don't care who knows it. You mean you refuse to obey the dragon's command? I'll do anything else you ask. Very well. I have other plans for you. Hello, Jerry. Hey! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, where you been, anyway? Slip into the monastery to see Peggy and her father again. Have you seen anything of Kai Chek? Have I? You come with me. Sounds like it came from over there. That's not the dragon. So perish all who dare to oppose the dragon. <gasps> dragon signal. There's Kai Chek now. Never mind me, you follow car check, go on!
What is it, my son? Oh, I beg your pardon, Holy One. I was looking for Kaichek. I, I thought he ran in here. Kaichek? He has dared to come back here? What's that? It's a collapsing room. Somebody has started the machinery. The vengeance of the dragon. You're right. The dragon's men tied me up. You, one of the foreigners whom I have hated and tried to drive from my country, you risked your life to save me. Forget it, Kaichek. I know how you feel. You failed to see how international airways intended to benefit your country. Airport? I've got to tell you, Drummond. Even now, the dragon's plane may be on their way to bomb it. I heard him give orders to his men. If only we could bomb them. I may be able to get there in time. I've got a plane outside. Thanks, Kaichek.
Jerry were here to help Abe. Drummond's friend? I know where he is. You do? Please take me to him. With your permission, Holy One. There he is now. Jerry! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. And what are you doing here with Kaichek? The dragon's going to bomb the airport, and Ace is trying to stop him. Kaichek came here to release you. The Hongadala? Bomb the airport? See, if I can get to the dragon's hideout on time, I'll stop him. But the dragon's men aren't at the hideout. They're on the way to the airport. Well, why, that's perfect. I'll turn the dragon's death ray on his own plane. There'll be no one there to stop me. That is, if I can get away from these fellows. The Holy One has much influence. You're free to go now. Oh, swell, Kai Tech, thanks. Say, you keep your eye on these cops for a couple minutes. I gotta borrow a car in a hurry. Attack at once. The dragon plane. No, just we prepared for another attack. They suddenly fell out of control and crashed. The entire squadron? No. One's getting away. That's the dragon's plane. I'm going after him. Did the bomb wreck all our planes? No, I don't think so. That pursuit plane in number three hangar ought to be okay. Roll that ship out as fast as you can, boys. I'm taking off in a hurry. Okay. to know. What is it? Just before the dragon planes attack, Winston left the airport under circumstances which makes me believe he knew what was going to happen. Winston, what do you mean? He went out of his way to pick a quarrel with me so that he could hand me his resignation. You mean you think Winston is the dragon? Yes, I do. All steady. We'll soon find out if you're right, Meredith. Hey, Ace, where are you headed for? The dragon's hideout.
So, it's you who worked the death ray and brought down my planes. The dragon! Well, well, well. If it isn't no boogeyman himself. You do well to smile. We have a saying in Mongolia that he who smiles at the grave's edge takes happiness into the world beyond. We got a saying in America, too, you know. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. You'll never leave this place alive. Here, if you rub me out, you're just giving Ace Drummond one more reason to kill you. It may interest you to know that I shot Drummond down at the airport during the attack. this time. Don't try to warn him. Hey, look out! Drop that. had this passage mined. By the looks of things, he had that outside entrance block, too. Boy, that guy never misses a bet. We're gonna be in here for a long, long time. I've got to get out of here, Jerry, before the dragon gets hold of Peggy and her father. Holy one, a runner has just arrived from the village saying the dragon's planes have been shot down at the airport. Ace must have got there in time. Dragon's power is broken at last. Daddy, I'm so glad. Now you'll be safe. And you won't have to keep the location of the Jade Mountain a secret any longer. That secret has cost too many lives already. I'm going to keep it until Ace Drummond tells me the dragon is done for. I think you are very wise, my friend. It is the hour of the evening prayer, Holy One. True, my son. We must leave you now. Come, Kai Chet. Come over to the window and watch the procession, Dad. Breath of fresh air will be a good. The evening air is chill, Holy One. I will fetch you a cake. Too bad you took up archaeology, Dad. You'd make an adorable monk. <laughs> Get away from your father, Miss Trailer. Don't make a sound, either of you. And you're going with me, Mr. Trailer. Drummond! I was expecting you, Dragon. Take off that helmet. You heard me? Take off that helmet. Good work, Drummond. Mr. Drummond, how on earth did you get here? Where is Dr. Trainer? In his room, Holy One. Take off that helmet. I, oh, you whom I cherished above all my disciples. The 
vows you have taken are a mockery. You are a disgrace to our people. He isn't one of your people, Holy One. The credentials he brought from the Grand Lama at Lhasa are forged. He is a white man born and raised among your people. The language and customs he learned as his own. Why have you done this evil thing? What did you hope to be? If it hadn't been for Drummond's interference, I would have made myself the most powerful man in Asia. Did you dare to use our religion as a cloak for your selfish aim? May the Holy One whose temple you have outraged, destroy you. Quick, get behind him! The tunnel leads to the village. Send the guards to head him off. My friend, if they can't catch him, you can't either. Take off the winds at his back. He'll never clear the monastery. Thanks to you, Drummond. International Airways has now accomplished its aim. Our clipper ships are taking off on schedule to all parts of the world. Well, I'm glad of that, Mr. Meredith, because I'll need some fast transportation back to Washington. Government has a new job waiting for me. There's just one more favor you can do me, Ace. Name it. Take Billy back with you to America. It's time he returned to school. I'll be glad to. Gee, that's swell. Hey, Ace, you know, uh, Peggy's going back to America, too. Wouldn't it be swell if we all went back together? I don't think there'll be any doubt about that, son. It's Jerry! <laughs> there, hello. When'd you join the circus? Oh, you mean the uniform, pretty swell, huh? Well, you see... Doc Trainer is forming a company to dig the jade out of the mountain, and I'm chief pilot in charge of transportation. Well, that's fine, Jerry. Yes, sir, boy. I, I guess if uh, uniforms have anything to do with it, I'll be a greater pilot than Lindbergh. <laughs> Give me 
a motor's roar. Give me a plane to soar into the blue. Following through. Give me a trail to blaze. Cause the rest of my days I'm going to fly. And it's going to be high. Give me luck and a happy landing. And a tailwind a good and strong. Give me the old man's pie. Give me a ship to fly. Give me a song. Give me a ship to fly. 